And like whenever I'm putting it in, I almost feel like I have to be very... Like this makes me nervous and now I'm like kind of pressing on the top edge of the card. Andy here, back on the quest. Happy Friday everybody. I've got a public service announcement. This is very important if you are not aware. It is unanimous across the board, guys. <laughs> I don't know where I would be without you guys sometimes, man. Shout out to Carson and Scott from Top's Choice, and Jordan and Caleb and Nick and Boot Ballers and Noon and Cardboard and Dr. Trolls and Danny Concepts and David Hunter and Danny W and Edward Burnett and Raleigh Owl and Magic Aloha and Braden from Green Bay, the pack opener and Jake Kremlar, Bush Leaguers, Smalls, Kino. Oh no, Craig, I almost made Craig vomit <laughs> for putting this Antonio Gibson into this, whether you call it a semi-rigid, a card saver, a slick willy, a, a slim jim, a tight squeeze. No, but seriously guys, uh, thank you. I, public service announcement, for the record, it's unanimous. These cards need to go into a penny sleeve before they go into a semi-rigid. And if you're submitting to companies like PSA and BGS, you need to submit them in this. And so, yes, I've got to take this one out in this video and I'm going to show you how I put it into a penny sleeve into this. You guys uh, can help me if I'm doing it wrong. Dude, very thankful for you guys. And my goal is for you guys to learn from my mistakes. And I've got some more packages I want to dig into. I hope you guys enjoyed the Hall of Fame game last night. Man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch the whole thing, but it was exciting to have football on. It was exciting to see Najee Harris and some and Tony Pollard and, and uh, just see the guys play football on national television. So let's dig in. Josh Allen signed a huge six-year, $258 million extension, the big contract for Josh Allen. So I'm going to be monitoring his rookie cards over the next couple of days, see if they're going to continue to climb because of that. Uh, James Washington's pissed off about the game last night, um, and he wants a trade, demanding a trade. <laughs> so that was really it from the game. Let me pop in the card cam. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday afternoon. Hey, listen, I've got three spots open in the draft tonight. Maybe, maybe three. I just sent out the link to Filthy. He's got a friend that wants to get in. But we've got a couple spots. So if you want to get in to the uh, private league, it's basically a paid mock draft. And so uh, it's a lot of fun. It's action-packed, 30-second rounds, 18 rounds. It's basically a 12-man league. And you draft your roster, a 1QB Two running backs, three wide receivers, a tight end, and a flex, and and no kickers, no defense. And then once uh, uh, the draft is done, you're good to go. You're off to the races. You don't have to mess with the roster at all throughout the season. They'll automatically optimize it for you. And that's what best ball is. It's basically a paid mock draft. And we have a lot of fun. I'll be on there with my refreshing adult beverages. And um, we've got a guest tonight, man. We've got Luke from Cards with Luke. He was just at the National. Uh, he talked to a ton of different vendors and dealers and content creators and, and saw all kinds of cool stuff. And, of course, as you guys know, I was not there, so I want him to fill us in. He's also going to be drafting with us, so it's going to be fun. He's a big Jags fan. I'm looking forward to getting to, to um, know him more and have some fun tonight, man. So let's see what we got. All right, first things first, I want to try and take this Antonio Gibson. And I know that you guys are cringing right now. But uh, I'm trying to do this the best I can. I'm gonna put this in a sleeve. Got the sleeves right here. Now I didn't, I didn't cut a little slit. One of you guys told me to cut a slit in the side of the sleeve, which I get that because then that'll prevent. See how that little, see how it catches on that little corner. 
with some of these sleeves, but you gotta just be very careful when you're putting it in. All right. And then Raleigh Al, he said, go like this. If I could see this thing, these things just pop open real. The only thing about that, you see how like it kind of puts some moisture in there, Al? I don't know, man. That's a little... Well, he did say do it like 30 minutes before. Like, let it cool off. It kind of opens them up a little bit. And I did, I think I blew in this one a little little while ago before I turned on the camera. So, alright, so, got the card in the penny sleeve. So now it's basically like just a matter of pinching the sides a little bit. Pinching the sides a little bit. To kind of open that sucker up. And then this is where I, this is where I start getting nervous. Once it gets about there, I'm like, but I just don't want to be too rough on that top, the top edge. I don't know if I, well, I mean, I don't really see anything by the naked eye, but we'll, we'll find out. All right. So there we go, guys. Official penny sleeve, card saver, semi rigid, slim gyms, tight squeeze. Slick Willy. Let me see if I can get this Keenan in one. So I definitely want to get this Keenan X Fractor graded. This thing looks sick. I just, man, I gotta be, I probably, I think I did that okay. I think I did that one pretty good. Now what about this, one of these a Robs? See, now this is one that I haven't, yeah, that's sticky. Sticky in there. You're definitely right, Al. I feel like that does loosen it up on the side, gives it from getting sticky. So I blow a little hot air in them before you get cracking. And you kind of squeeze them open. Kind of pinch the sides, is what I found. I mean, it's just kind of like uh, working it in there to where it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, ever run into too much friction. I don't, you know, friction is bad. Friction is bad on very delicate card surfaces. You don't want force and friction. <laughs> I know that. I know that much. So... I don't know. That's about as comfortable as I feel getting the card in there. and um, That should be good enough for submission right there. Alright. But, oh man. Alright. Let's open a couple packages. Spend a bunch of time getting cards into the... the th into, into the semi-ridges, the Slim Jims. See what we got in here. Oh, I think this is one of my little Traquan Smith Silver Prism Auto snags. Actually, it was two of them. The same seller. He consolidated selling for uh, shipping for me. And uh, I believe I got these for like $20 or less. Man, I hope his whatever uh, he's got going this week is not serious at all. I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, if it's undisclosed and there's nobody talking about it. These look really clean, man. I'm not going to lie. Looking at these on the on the camera. I'm definitely going to be looking at Marquez Callaway. But I bought these for really cheap. You know, right as I saw the news drop. We ran onto eBay and saw these for like under 20 bucks. And if you compare these to, you know, 2018 Silver Prism Auto Nick Chubb. It's going to be over $100. Um, Silver Prism Auto Baker Mayfield is going to be over a thousand dollars. So when you can get something comparable for, not in terms of comparable player, right? Those are in different positions, but the card is comparable. The print run of the card, the scarcity of the card, and uh, this player being on a big market team has the athletic profile to break out, especially be a field stretcher if Jameis Winston were to get time. Um, his his profile is really solid, so if he can stay healthy. He's pretty young. Um, look at so compare him. A good one to compare him to is a 2018 Silver Prism Auto Calvin Ridley. How much is that trading for? Um, how much is a DJ Moore trading for? 
in 2018 those would be some some decent comps to look at say if he does break out you know what could his value go up to and then you can kind of see how undervalued this card is and so when i did that i just kind of knowing that uh 20 for this card is a really good value really good value 20 or under so snag those and uh let's see what else we got this is a quick mail day not a whole lot of packages will be live tonight like i said with luke looking forward to it, having fun i've actually got to run here in just a minute but I had to get the psa out i don't want any of you guys making the same mistakes i did and uh, man, can't thank all you guys out there enough for keeping me straight. Oh, yeah, my boy Matt Viscovi over at Jets Crazy. Uh, Jets Crazy's cards 87 or <laughs> Jets Crazy 87 put me onto these Dynagon Silvers. You know how I, uh, my, my affection for the Silvers. I love the Silvers. And the Dynagon really does make the player pop. Now, this is something that came out of the Chronicle set, so I know that print run is going to be pretty solid on it but this is a short print variation of the dynagon so you know it's it's definitely got some scarcity on it compared to all the you know the base cards in the in the dynagon set so yeah yeah man you guys i'll show you guys what i do with that in a little bit let's see what we got here and i got that for very cheap i want to say i got that for like five bucks so it's, it's a perfect example why pay two dollars for a base dynagon when you pay five dollars and get the silver and you know that you're gonna get some scarcity on it if you like the card that that you think that card's gonna have collectability factor and eye appeal and you know uh go go for the go for the silver variation go for the short print variation unless the base card like this a field level is already a short print variation so and, and knowing that field levels the uh, shortest printed uh, base card of the the 2020 select set you know over the concourse premiere and club level then i feel okay vesting in elite players in the base field level variation it's already short print as is so another nice little justin jefferson probably got for uh, around ten dollars or, or under let's see if we got one more and i've got to run guys and be back tonight but, um, yeah, get ready because we're about to have some fun tonight. Hope to see you guys in the chat. Let me know. We got a few spots left. We may, depending on how many people, we may spin up a couple. Let's see what we got here. Another Jalen Rager? I wonder when this purchase is from. Base filler? I don't remember that. I wouldn't have done that, but I think that's a bonus card to whatever I got in here. Oh, yes, yeah, is a Jalen Rager silver field level. Okay. I'm just going to maintain my bullish stance on him. Let's take this one out. I don't want you guys to cringe or vomit or nothing, so I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to follow the SOP. I'm getting schooled up. Oh, yeah, bye bye. Let's see. I don't see any dimples. I don't see any dimples, so that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And just to prove you guys that I'm learning, you guys are helping me out so much. The only thing I didn't do is cut a little slit in that. Let's get this sucker in a... Like that. Oh, man. 235. I got to run. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, he's in. He's in, he's in, he's in. I felt pretty good about that. All right, man. Boom. Oh, Sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> subscribe if you're not. I don't know why you'd lurk around to the end of the video. You're not subscribed, but <laughs> I appreciate all you guys that are subscribed, all your comments. Uh, thanks for schooling me up, guys. Seriously, um, keep it coming. Please always be brutally honest with me. I can take it. I can take it. So I'd love to hear your honest opinions and feedback. I'll see you guys tonight in the live stream. See you in the next episode. Peace.
Alright. <laughs> oh wait. He's talking about the dimples, yeah. So I've heard from you guys. There's one. Step one. Uh, if I can even like hold it open. And that's what the quest is all about for me to be able to make mistakes on camera. Then all you guys that are experts to help me correct it and get better and then share that with everybody else so all the new people getting in and stuff can um, not make the same mistakes as me. Hey, if I can provide value in that way, it's good stuff. So, uh, Traquan Smith is supposedly uh, has missed practice since Tuesday with a leg injury. It's unknown what kind of leg injury, if it's serious, or anything like that. Uh, if you guys want to look at another sleeper pick, then if you want to handcuff to Traquan Smith, now that you know Michael Thomas is going to be missing time, look at Marquez Callaway, uh, 2020 rookie. And um, apparently he's looked like the top dog at the receiver position for the Saints so far this training camp. Uh, let's see what else we got. Darren Waller's missed three consecutive practices, undisclosed. Um, Julio Jones, leg injury, nothing major, nothing to really report there. Um, yeah, it's, Najee Harris last night, seven times for 22 yards. Uh, I mean, it was a three, uh, added a three-yard reception, his first work, of, and he came with Ben on the sideline. Yeah, no no real insight there. Oh, really? Uh, Fox's Jay Glazer reports the Packers have agreed to trade Aaron Rodgers if he still wants out of Green Bay following the 2021 season. Okay.